Mabuhay. The music you just heard me play is titled Mabuhay. Mabuhay is a Filipino word to express welcome, hello, or greetings. The instrument I use in playing the Mabuhay music is the Philippine 14 string instrument known as Banduria. My name is George Ganhe of the Philam Veterans Rondalia, and thanks and Mabuhay for welcoming me into your homes. My goal in sharing this instructional video presentations is to share my passion for Rondalia music with the hope that others may choose to embrace and enjoy it as well. The video tutorial will be in a freestyle form and will cover the following instruments. The Banduria, the Laud, and the Octavina. But before we go to the nitty-gritty of actual learning, let me give you some background history of the rondalia and how it could very well affect one's life in so many positive ways. There are at least four known origins of the rondalia. First, it is a group of young men who went around regularly singing and playing in front of houses. Second, there's a group of musicians begging for arms known as murza or murga. The third, there is the Estudiantina, Tuna for short, and is a group popular among universities in Spain. They play mandolin, violin, guitar, and some wind and percussion instruments. And lastly, the Comparza. It is a group who normally plays on stage and is the predecessor of our Philippine Rondalia. In the Philippines during the Spanish time, up until the early years of the American presence, it was also called Comparsa. It is a group that is popular among the elites. Thereafter, and until today, any group playing string instruments with a pick, like so, is called a rondalia. The major Philippine rondalia instruments are the banduria, the guitar, the octavina, the laud, and the bass guitar or double bass. The banduria is the central instrument of the ensemble, and along with the octavina and laud are unique to the Philippines. The octavina and laud have longer necks than are my banduria, and it's half a tone lower. The guitar and double bass have six strings, while all other rindali instruments have normally four thin strings that is grouped into six tuning units. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is done to produce a richer sound, and we'll discuss that in detail in our up upcoming uh, video presentations. The Philippine brand of Rondalia has a wide repertoire ranging from the danceable folk songs to the modern and contemporary tunes, as well as Filipino and foreign classics. Just like our very own Philam veterans Rondalia, Many rondalia groups play during concerts, weddings, and community events. Our Philam Veterans Rondalia also perform for residents of nursing and skilled facilities. It also renders background of accompaniment to vocals and dance troops. Music is a universal language. And if ever communications fail, music will always rock and unite. The Philippine brand of Rondalia has become an institution and a distinct Filipino contribution to the musical culture of the world. During the 1960s, the Rondalia was extremely popular in the Philippines, and Rondalias regularly competed with each other on television and radio programs. Your host was very fortunate to have participated in the glory days of the Rondalia, having played in school competitions and in the famed ABS-CBN TV show, Hamon Sa Campion, where their Andres Bonifacio Elementary School Rondalia was a one-time junior Rondalia champion. The popularity of the Philippine Rondalia has waned somewhat in the Philippines, but efforts of organizations like the Dr. Ramon Santos led international Rondalia festivals under the auspices of the Philippine National Com Commission uh, for Culture and Arts and well-meaning groups like our Philam Veterans Rondalia, the Kawayan and Hies Rondalias of San Jose, Rondalia Club of Los Angeles, Pasacat from San Diego, 
the American Center for Philippine Arts, and LICA, both from San Francisco, and other based in various countries around the world are keeping the tradition alive and has inspired many other groups to keep the Philippine folk tunes for posterity. Indeed, there are values one can derive from playing rondalia instruments. Example in point is that playing rondalia instruments not only has provided your host with sense of fulfillment and inner peace whenever he plays, but also has taught him very important life skills that have helped tremendously in his colorful travels through life. Some of these acquired important life skills are leadership, sense of discipline, direction, goal setting, effectively working with others as a team, and of course, sharing. Here's hoping that the mentioned life skills coupled with one's positive mental attitude may also transform other young people who chooses to embrace learning how to play a rondalia instrument. Here's also hoping that this brief background about rondalia history and the direct and indirect benefits one could receive from playing rondalia instrument I just shared with you have helped somewhat to encourage and inspire you to watch the succeeding videos I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy our easy, simple, freestyle ways of learning how to play some musical pieces. By the way, in the absence of Philippine Rondalia instruments, you may also use any other readily accessible lute family of instruments by just tuning it the Philippine Rondalia way. For the Philippine Rondalia not to join the ranks of total extinction and bring back the glory days of the Rondalia, I dedicate this series of Philippine Rondalia instructional videos to honor all cognizant Rondalia practitioners and supporters and cheer them to join hands and continue help keep the Rondalia movement alive and vibrant by proclaiming it and sharing it to the world. It has been my dream that one day most halls or centers of the most economically challenged barangays in the Philippines will have at their disposal, at the very least, eight usable rondalia instruments for the local kids to learn and play with. That dream, my friends, is being made possible with the conception of your host initiative, the Rondalia Instrument Lending Program, to marginalized barangays seeking the assistance of friends, family, schoolmates, and virtual strangers, and this will definitely continue one marginalized barangay at a time. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, time flies by when you're having fun. Thank you very much for your attention, and keep on picking. We'll see you on the next video presentation, and mabuhay.